as I'm recording, let the recorder run. Uh, as we could see, we're down to less than a minute and we'll continue recording raw on compress. And uh, it's really remarkable being able to take the entire full advantage of. And the storage is smart enough and uh, to know uh, and the camera also as we reach towards the end of our storage that probably the data doesn't get corrupted and everything else we almost have 55 minutes an hour of recording on the nomadic uh, SSI storage it's a solid state running USB-C we could take this now with the speed close to 500 megs a second we can easily uh, start editing right off of the units uh, without having to worry about transferring so ideal sneaker net some scenario so you can have multiple of this in the job and we also have uh, larger capacity that we're working on as well uh, to be able to store a significantly extended time period again with the portable battery gimbal and uh, and the lens control and all that and having the ability to control this entire system remotely is phenomenal uh, as you could see uh, the timing is dropping down as we're getting closer and we'll continue recording um, the ProRes format as well but this provides a very incredible workflow uh, I just want to have you see what happens when we reach to the end of our recording, but uh, I don't. I haven't seen much of this, but we have done quite a bit of research on what storage uh, to build in order to best suit this. There we have it. Uh, complete recording done. Simply saying, it's finished. And if we look at the storage size, that was a uh, two terabyte. That's a two terabyte storage uh, that was utilized to record almost uh, an hour of raw uh, uncompressed. So that's the size of the GVS storage unit. And so uh, if you're interested, please reach out to us. Have a good day.